Tonight's big story, we're hearing for the first time what went on inside the Walmart in Beaver Creek. About the suspect shot by police and the mother who died days before her wedding. Hey there, everybody. I'm Jack Atherton. And hello, I'm Deborah Lins. Elise Coulter is live in Beaver Creek and explains how everything unfolded. Elise. Jack and Deborah Beaver Creek police say they got a 911 call about a man inside the Walmart waving around a rifle like weapon and even pointing it at kids. The calls a dispatcher. It, pl it uh, plays out moment by moment what was happening inside. The uh, gentleman walking around with a gun in the store. That's the call to 911 dispatchers that alerted Beaver Creek police. Is he got it pulled out? Yeah, he's like pointing at people. He's like loading it right now. Beaver Creek police say two of their officers arrived on scene within three minutes, and you can hear what happened next. Sir, what's going on? Gunshots in the store. Gunshots rang out. Beaver Creek police say two officers shot 22-year-old John Crawford the third of Fairfield. He went around the corner. He wasn't gone from maybe five minutes on the telephone. Um, the next thing I know, we were all being shoved out the store saying someone was just shot. We spoke to Crawford's girlfriend who says he was in town for a cookout and they went to Walmart to get supplies to make s'mores. He wasn't armed by no means. We were playing walking through the store. store. I even grabbed him by his shirt where you could see his waistline. He didn't have anything on him at all. And these are the two officers involved in the shooting last night, Sergeant David Darko and Officer Sean Williams. Williams was involved in a deadly shooting in 2010. We were there when Beaver Creek police shot and killed 45-year-old Scott Brogley after officers say Brogley was chasing his wife with a kitchen knife. That shooting was ruled justified. But the Crawford's family, they don't believe officers should have shot him. He didn't do anything wrong. We walked in Walmart together. And apparently we didn't walk out of Walmart together. Beaver Creek Police asked the Attorney General's office to do its own criminal investigation. They accepted, but Beaver Creek Police do say through their preliminary investigation, the officers acted appropriately. For now, reporting live in Beaver Creek, Elise Coulter, Fox 45 News.